Uh, I'm excited to be here. Just came back from uh, my wedding uh, with Joanne Senyonga. Uh, it was occurring on October 21st, 2021. And kind of the whole inspiration behind that uh, wedding. Number one, I love Joanne. She's an amazing woman. Uh, there will be no Joshua Senyonga, this version of me today, without Joanne. And uh, she's really been an influence in my life. You know, the Bible says, he who finds a wife, finds a good thing. And uh, something that is true with me is, when I found Joanne, she, I found a good thing. And it, was, it would be stupid for me to let such a beautiful thing out of my life. And see, a lot of men, when you find good things, sometimes you don't know how to treasure them. But I'm lucky and fortunate I had the example of Pastor Jackson Senyanga. And he told me, Josh, once you find that good thing, better make her your wife. Because if you don't, someone else will. And I did that on 21st of um, August. So, uh, we called this press meeting. Um, uh, with my team, they said, Josh, I think you need to you need to voice what this whole thing is about, what this whole marriage is about. And uh, something that is in our culture, especially with my generation, is marriage is viewed as a disease. Marriage is viewed as a jail where people can hold, constrict, you can't be free. You know, when I told some of my friends, they say, oh, you're getting married? You're not going to go and have fun, like you're going to go straight into that, but what I've seen is, is that marriage is a good thing and it's fun, especially to our younger generation. And so I want to encourage our people to stand up with the principles of marriage. It's not a chain, it's not a block that holds you down, rather it's something that lifts you up. My target is the young people. I want to tell every young person that God loves you out there. There's a, there's a calling on your life, and if you know who God is, you know who you are, and you know what you're called to do.